Hey everybody, you got the Hobby Drifter here again. It is Wednesday, March 3rd, 2021, here in beautiful Tokyo, Japan. We were supposed to be exiting the state of emergency on March 7th, but it seems that that may have been pushed back. What hasn't been pushed back is the release of the final Evangelion movie, Evangelion 3.0 plus 1.0, Thrice Upon a Time. And in anticipation of that movie, which I have been waiting for for many, many years, I have been going through some of my Evangelion collection to kind of get me all hyped for it. So we got some story time, story time with the Hobby Drifter. I have been a fan of Ava since the 1990s, and growing up in that era in Chicago, in the United States, it was not as easy to get information on, on stuff, let alone credible information. So you would you would hear about things like the the End of Ava Laserdisc box set or or the Red Cross book or the S2 work CD. But you would never get like the the whole story. It would be written by people who assumed that you had um maybe a level of familiarity with the series that uh, that I didn't. <laughs> so information I got was generally incomprehensible to me. Uh, and one of the, the things that I had heard about from the the earlier days of, of the series, um, before it became like a, a cultural juggernaut when it was still just about the series itself, uh, was a book called uh, 2015, The Last Year of Ryoji Kaji. And this is something that I had, I had heard a little bit about, like that it, it existed it was uh, a limited edition book published in uh, 1997 and limited to 2015 copies, and it was basically uh, Kaji's journal. I had never seen one in person. I had never seen one go up for sale. And truth be told, it wasn't something that I really felt like I needed to have, but it was, it was one of those things that was just, at the time, it was this, like, a mythical thing. Um... Like, ooh, imagine getting your hands on one of these things. Uh, on, honestly, I had never even seen pictures of it. Uh, such was, like, dial-up internet at the time, where it was, you know, there were text descriptions. Um, so I didn't even know really what to look for. Um, as you can tell, you you know, from the, the thing you're looking at here, um, this is it. <laughs> but I was in, uh, I was at Book Off in Azamino a couple of weeks ago. Uh, flipping through the, the art books on a Monday afternoon. And I see this. 2015, double slash, the last year of Ryoji Kaji. Uh, there's no Evangelion markings or anything on it. Uh, I'm just, you know, I'm flipping through art books. I'm like, you know, you know uh, like Dragon Ball stuff. Gundam stuff, and it's just like, oh, last year of Ryoji, it, it looks like a, like a yearbook. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, wow, okay. Uh, so I pull it off the shelf, and, you know, yeah, there's, you know, there's the Nerve logo, and, uh, Tokyo 3, and I'm like, oh, it's, uh, oh, it is, it's, it's actually the, the journal of, uh, Ryoji Kaji. Um, voice recorder notes, uh, and things like that. Original MSRP was uh, 4,800 yen. How much do you think I paid for this? <laughs> like, you know, because I mean, I, I got it off the shelf at a book off. So, you know, it, it's not very expensive. So, like, uh, so I, I pull it off the shelf and I'm like, okay, before I look at the price, how much am I, am I willing to pay for this thing that I don't really want, but would like to, to own? Um, and I'm thinking, uh, uh, because usually, you know, when you see like nicer stuff at book off like this, it's three thousand ish yen. Uh, and I'm like, okay, I'd I'd pay I'd pay three thousand yen just to just to own this. It cost me a grand total of one hundred and ninety one yen, two hundred and ten yen after tax. That's about two U.S. dollars. So I was like, <laughs> yeah, mine yoink. So. Now I'll share it with you. So get the uh, slipcase off. And it's this beautiful 
hard bound like material it, it looks like a it feels like a high quality yearbook and uh, of course it still has the uh, the survey card that you could fill out because again no, no no nerds here ever throw out any of the packaging or paperwork uh, for stuff and when they do it means people like me can get it even cheaper so also it's in English <laughs> the whole book is like completely uh, in English and it's uh, a combination of photographs and Photoshop composite images from the series. So here's here's the uh, Japanese bit, and then you'll get English all peppered throughout throughout the book. You know, and it's you got like you know, uh, you know, not 1997 Photoshop images over regular uh, photographs. It's uh, not very convincing. <laughs> I mean, some of the you know, there's like. There's a lot of uh, a lot of poetry and things like that. You know, there's the giant. There's the Ava's gun. You know, slammed down in the middle of of, of the field. Kind of weird that he's got photos of uh, you know Ray's bedroom. Here's the beast, and it's all it's all photos seemingly taken uh, from from Kaji's point of view. So you know, like the the composition is is off in places. There's you know the looks like the uh, Ava's helmet you know crash into the ground, or that that famous scene where uh, Ray's Ava has been you know decapitated and disarmed. And, uh, <laughs> you know what that is? Just black. So, this book was one of those, those things that was released in limited numbers for diehard fans of the series at the time that the series was still fresh in the minds of, of fans. It had not yet become this, this cultural institution um, that basically existed on the strength of its own brand. It was still fresh uh, in, in the minds of fans here in, in Japan. And it's just a weird, you know, a weird little thing. Uh, the, it's not necessary really for for anything it's not it's not going to let you in on all the the secrets of the series and um by the way nothing will that's something that i wish had been made clearer back in in the 90s when i was you know young fan on on dial up internet trying to get answers to what the hell happened at the end of the series nothing will give you those answers um like I mean, nothing official. You know, if you get the Red Cross book or you get this or you get, you know, any of the the games, they won't be like, oh, what we really meant was, no, you're not gonna get that. Uh, the closest thing you'll get is is in the manga, but I mean that's not. That's not. In canon with with, with the series, the, the the manga is much less. Uh, abstract, so yeah, here it is the. Uh, 2015, the last year of Ryo Jikaji. Super happy to, to have it uh, in my uh, Evangelion collection. Uh, my Eva collection, probably my my most well-curated collection, and that there's not a whole lot of filler, although there, there used to be. Um, there has been some really weird uh, Eva stuff released over the years, and... Uh, 
I, I might even still have some of that to talk about in future installments. Uh, but what do you think? Do you have this book? Do you want this book? Uh, do you have any questions about this book or about Ava in general? Uh, as always, let me know down in the comments. Um, always happy to chat with other fans. Uh, if you like what I do here, uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Hobby Drifter, where I do a bunch more nerd stuff, toy photography, things like that. Um, until, until next time, thank you very much for watching, and happy hobbying.